Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm sure you know the story of Rahaf Muhammad Al-Qunun. I'm sure you know her. Just for your own introduction, she is a teenager from Saudi Arabia. Supposedly, she fled the country because of the abuse, alleged abuse of the family and pressure and mistreatment. And then she left Islam again, supposedly, and she was stopped in Bangkok and Thailand airport and hotel room. She requested for the asylum and UN provided her protection. Within in a day time or two, she was accepted by the Canadian government on 11 of January. On 12 January, she was welcomed as a hero of the entire world to the Canada. And there are some point people are missing. I know there is a political element to it, but there are some messages in concern that I personally have what the Canadian government trying to do. Number one, did they check the background of that particular girl, Al Qunun, if she was mentally normal? And the, did they contact the family if the story is true? Or any local authority? The answer is no. Their second concern, what message they want to portray or what message they want to send to the rest of people who are truly suffering persecution in different countries? Especially in China right now, the Rohingya Muslims in Myanmar, they are still suffering in Bangladesh, the Arabs in Syria, in Yemen, in Palestine. What message do you want to send? And what criteria do they have to reject a person to be a good person? What criteria do they have to define a person, you are a good refugee and you are a bad refugee? If you go to their own Canadian immigration website, you will find the process for someone to be accepted as an asylum seeker, they have to go through a lengthy process. They will be hearing and based on that hearing, they will be decision making. And it might take up to two years. But why for her particularly, exceptionally, it took only one day. There are more than 25 million people on earth seeking protection in the UN why they are not deserving even 10% of that attention that they gave her to this particular girl maybe it was to show whoever leave Islam we are here to support them maybe it was to show if you are against your own culture or particularly the kingdom we are here to support you maybe that was the case or maybe that was the case to invite her so she can wear a short dress and eat bacon in the morning and a breakfast. My question again is, when was the last time for Christina Freeland, the Foreign Minister of Canada, to receive an individual, an asylum seeker in the airport? And then, you know, laughing and hanging, yeah, welcome with the flowers and all those things. When was the last time she did that? Or have she ever done that? And the answer is no. We don't know. And why the media give her full coverage? Maybe the media should focus a younger Muslim in China. The current war in Yemen, 80,000 people are starving to death, but nobody cares because they are bad people. Because they are Muslim, nobody cares. If they leave Islam, maybe, 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 hypothetically, maybe they will be accepted as a good refugees. Rebelling against your own religion makes you good. If you are sticking to your religion, that makes you bad. That's a new narrative of some of the Western countries, unfortunately. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not paid by the kingdom, nor I'm their fan. I'm against many of their policies, including the war in Yemen, including their concert in Riyadh, and many other things. No way I'm supporting them, but justice should be prevailed and we should speak out people who are doing injustice. The Saudi is doing unjust against the Yemenis, and the Canadian government did injustice against the 25, 000, 25 million people right now seeking asylum, who are truly suffering persecution, and the families are being killed, their life is in danger, but they're labeled as a bad refugees. And if you're willing to have bacon in the morning and breakfast, and enter Canada with a hoodie of Canadians, or with a cap of Canadians, and then wear a short skirt, and renounce your religion and culture, then you're a good refugee. I'm asking everyone here, are these a criteria to be a good human being and to be accepted in Canada? The answer is no.